Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, I've got a pretty special one, very excited about this video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Batman Batcave set. Very excited for this review. Let me close my blinds so you guys can uh, see a bit more of the set. I feel like that's what's making the problem here, the blinds. Usually the blinds give me good lighting, but apparently in this one they don't, so uh, unless it's negative light from the roof shining off of it. But uh, let's hope not, and uh, that looks even worse. So uh, give me a second, guys. That'll have to do. So we have the Bat Cave Lego set here today with us. So take a look at the box art and let's take a look at the set. So firstly, we can see we've got the Batman there. So this set comes with Batman, Riddler, Commissioner Gordon, Catwoman, Alfred, and Bruce Wayne. Now this set is very cool, very, very nice set. So you can see we've got the Bat Cave there. Got some stuff in the back of the box here. We have a nice image of Batman here, and we have the back of the Bat Cave and some features that it does. So let me get this set cracked open, and uh, yeah. And here we have the Batcave set out of the box, and straight away I can say that this set is an immediate 10 out of 10. Like, look how good this set looks. So I've made some minor modifications, literally just made one modification, and that is with this minifigure. This minifigure is straight up doo-doo, I'm not gonna lie. Well, let's look at the minifigures first, just to tell you what I'm on about. And here we have all the minifigures. So, like I said before, the minifigures are very good. Very nice selection of minifigures for a Batcave set. We get the Riddler, Commissioner Gordon, Batman, Alfred, which is a very nice Alfred, by the way, Bruce Wayne, and Catwoman. Now, I have a gripe with about three of these minifigures. So let's start off with the first one, which is Riddler. Riddler in the set comes with this brown hair on top. I'm not going to show it because it's just horrifying. But uh, I took it off, because of course in the movie, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen the movie, but in the movie he's wearing, this is this is a mask that goes over his head. It's not something that's like, it's not an open top. Like, so I just don't understand why they did that, but lovely printing on the uh, minifigure though. We'll go over like each minifigure individually. I'm going to quickly give a, a like little turnaround shot of the Riddler. So here we have the Riddler, as I said before. Got a nice hooded back print, got some nice head print on the top. No printed legs, no printed arms, but what can you really expect when it's a pretty plain minifigure, so yeah. Next up we have Commissioner Gordon, now this minifigure couldn't be more perfect, literally, it looks exactly like the actor, I just love this minifigure. I like the use of this receding hair piece as well, it looks really nice, not much, there's back printing of course, but it's more of like a torso printing. And we've also got leg printing, which is amazing, to show his uh, trench coat looking thing. But yeah, I really like the look of this character, I just love this hair pin, um, hair piece. Of this hair piece that goes with this minifigure, which makes it look a lot more like the actor. Next, we have the Batman. And uh, for the Batman, there's a few upgrades you can make for this figure, so I'm going to show you a few of them now. So, as you should know if you've watched the Batman, the Batman does wear eye makeup. Now, this minifigure does not portray him wearing the eye makeup at all, and I think it is really poorly made on the uh, face and also on the legs as well. You can see the printing, grey printing, does not travel around to those legs. So I'm really disappointed about that. And there's no arm printing either. Like what? This figure could have this figure could have been so great and it just decided not to be. So yeah. But uh we still got something and we can still upgrade him. So let's upgrade him real quick. So the, for the first thing you can do is actually the cowl you can remove, but let's do the face first. So we get this generic Bruce Wayne face for the Batman figure. And there is one way better that you can use. This one. Right here. This is from the Batman movie. Now this one, this one here, this face is so perfect with this minifigure, I'm going to show you right now. Boom. So already it looks like he's got eye makeup on the figure, which makes this figure look ten times better when you've got another cowl on. So we could use this cowl, you know, the lovely straight mask cowl, but uh, no, we're not. We're not using that piece of rubbish. We're going to use the short-faced cowl, which works way better with this Batman. So let me quickly put that on. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, short cowl, I mean this one. So of course in the Batman we can see, we can see his chin visibly. So you want to use this cowl. Just put this cowl on him, like that. And look at that, ten times better already. You can see the chin, and also the eyes, if you can see. There's actually black around the eyes, as well as the cowl being there. Perfect minifigure. Only thing we could use now is arm printing and a bit of side lead printing as well. Okay, so now we've made upgrades to two minifigures, and they look a lot more better. Let's go on to Alfred. 
Now, Alfred does not need any upgrades. I feel like this figure is absolutely perfect as he is. Like, literally, we couldn't have asked for a more better, like, perfect Alfred, really. So, this is Alfred. Now, of course, Alfred does have a bit of back printing. Not that much, though. Just a little tiny bit. And, uh, yeah, I love this figure so much. I love the use of the hair piece. The face print looks so good. I love the use of the little wand for the, um, obviously, walking stick or cane, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this figure is just a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Best Alfred minifigure. Well, apart from the, maybe the 1966 Alfred minifigure. But, uh, apart from that one, best Alfred minifigure out there. 100%. Okay, so now we've done Alfred, it's time for Bruce Wayne. Now, I really like this Bruce Wayne minifigure. I think this minifigure is perfect. Now, do I think we should have got the biker Bruce Wayne? No. I feel like it would have been a lot more better if we had got the suited Bruce Wayne. The one that we see in the scene where he is, I think it's at the funeral, I think. And where the car driver drives into it and is, of course, a bomb. I feel like it would have been better if we got that Bruce Wayne, but I feel like they tried to turn it up, like change it up, because of course we always get suited Bruce Waynes. But uh, let's talk about the face print real quick. I love this face print. It looks exactly like Robin Patterson. And like the hair print, the hair piece as well looks so good. Back printing, there is a hood there and everything, but uh, yeah. So uh, we can actually make a modification to this minifigure as well, so I'm going to show you that real quick. And bang, here we go. So all we have to do is literally get this torso, which I think they actually use for the Penguin minifigure in this series. I don't really know. But I will get this torso and just switch the head. So I'm going to do that real quick. And there we go. Look how much better that figure looks. It looks... So we, of course you want to keep this torso because you can always interchange them. So if you ever want a biker Bruce or a suited Bruce, you can change them between the two. But I think the suited Bruce is one that's going to suit me more. Get it? Funny joke. Uh, on to Catwoman. Okay, so now we've done most of the figures. It's time to do Catwoman. Now, Catwoman, aka Selena Kyle, is probably the one that I'm most disappointed with. I just don't like this minifigure. I mean, it could have done so much, but it just didn't ex meet expectations, really. We get no leg printing at all, no side arm printing or anything. We get a bit of back printing, but not much. And this just annoys me. Where's the mask, man? I know we mostly see her in the movie without a mask on, but I feel like it would have added so much character to the minifigure to have the mask interchangeable with her. Like, we could have easily, like, you, you could have made a new mould, but I'm going to quickly show you what you can do, I guess, it makes it look a little tiny bit better if you want a masked version. Unfortunately, this Catwoman is going to have to use this right here. This is the old Catwoman head, like, headpiece. I feel like this is the best thing, or the closest thing we're going to get to it, so let's put it on and try it. Okay, so looking at it, it actually doesn't look too bad at all. I feel like that actually looks really good. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm actually going to keep my minifigure like this. So, yeah, so we've got a Catwoman here. Of course, we've got the helmet now. It looks a little tiny bit better, but I still would have appreciated it if they'd given her her own mould as, like, a banaclava looking one. Okay, so now I've taken an in-depth look at all the minifigures. Let's take a look at the set. Now, this set is a literal beast of a set. So, we, of course, have here... Let me just quickly zoom in. Okay, so we of course have here the back computer. So we have a, pr a lovely, lovely stickered uh, keyboard, a mug, and a swivelly chair, which actually does swivel. So this moves in and out of the back cave very, I was going to say smoothly, but yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's probably as smooth as you're going to get. So, And these uh, screens do move as well. So we have a lovely Riddler one. That's what I mean by he has a hairprint. I just don't like that. Got some a few other screens around here. So let's take a look at the sections. So we have section one, which is like obviously a map section, so we can see like we've got the Riddler thing there. We have a lovely little computer right here, and these sections do open up and close as you want to. In section two, we have a glass on here instead. We have a tool bench. I really like this tool bench actually. It's a really really nice tool bench. And we also have a fire extinguisher or a flamethrower, one of the two I do not know. But uh, we have all these tools on here, and yeah, it's very nice. So uh, here, we have some lights, we have the staircase going up to the lights, which I really like these lights. The lovely clock there, Wayne Tremus, Tremonus, whatever, I don't, I don't really know how to say that. Uh, we have some golden pieces, and like that. So this runway is actually to hold, house the Batmobile. But I want to test that with if it holds my, my bat tumbler. So let's try that real quick. Okay, so here I have the beastly bat tumbler. I love this set so much. It's probably my favourite Batman set out of all of them. So let's quickly remove this. And this is actually just removable so easily. Like literally, this does not attached to any pieces. So you just pick it up, put it over there. And then tumbler. Let's see if you work. So we're just going to get it lined up with the... Oh my god, that knee fell off. We're going to get it lined up with that. And we're just going to push it up. 
it does fit. It fits quite nicely, actually. It looks pretty full up now. I really like this. But now you're thinking, Jay, you're in a dilemma because now you have a back computer that you can't use. Well, I know the ways, my friends. So let's quickly turn this thing around and I'll show you the back of it. So turning this beautiful piece around, we actually have the place where you put the bat suit, which is right. Okay, it's knocking off all my stickers. That's not good. I don't like that. Please don't do that. When did Riddler get here? How's Riddler got there? He's a riddle man. So we have here... Sorry about that, guys. My dog was just being a bit weird. So yeah, so we have the place where we put the bat suit, which I really like. And we have this little uh, play feature, so we can pull out the hole here, and we can reveal it in here. So in here... This is just held on by two little studs there, so we just push that back in and then use this to pull down. We have a lovely window where we can see like a prison or something we put in, and then we have a lovely back door, or main door, like that. So if we flip this around, we can see I've actually added a plate on here already. So you add a plate on there, and then you should have to add another plate. Let me just quickly do this real quick, and I'll show you it. Add the plate onto here, just like that. Very nice. And then you add the back computer. And that should look a little something like this. So now you have a place to put your back computer, and you also have still room space to walk. But also, a lovely place for your back tumbler as well. So if we put the back tumbler in here, this set just looks way more full, way more action packed. Just wow. So let me get it into poses, and I'll end the video. And here it is the finished product, guys. So we have Commissioner Gordon, Alfred, Catwoman. Batman on his Bat Tumblr and Riddler, all in this set. So yeah, this set is, to me is a 10 out of 10. I love this set so much. Such an amazing set. If you can pick it up, pick it up 100%. I think it is £59.99 in the UK. I don't know how many dollars or Canadian dollars that is. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make sure, uh, if you did like the video, make sure to enjoy. Uh, I'm so sorry. If you did like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.